And uh, actually, our guests have something to celebrate tonight as well. They're both survivors. OK, one has survived every extreme environment known yeah. to man, from mountains and jungles, luck, to uh, deserts and a big old snowstorm as well. And the other has survived the highs and lows of broadcasting, including eight years of early mornings on Radio 2, plus five years presenting this show on Fridays. That's not a struggle, surely it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Well, shall we open the doors and let them in? Yes. Come on, Ooh, get those doors well, open I'm and let's say hello to Chris Evans! Take yourselves down. <laughs> so that's what your life is like, is it, Ben? <laughs> what, ploughing through foam Snow bubbles? all the time. <laughs> Wowzers, what an entrance. That was fantastic. Oh, yeah. Just dump them anywhere fun. you want. Chuck them away. There. there you go. There you go. Sorry, Phil. Have a seat, have a seat. How are you both? You Very well. Good. I mean, He's ben, wild and reckless. He got us through it there, you know, in the, in the end. Of course. No better person to be with than Bear Grylls in that exactly situation. Exactly, in a snowstorm. Perfect. <laughs> foam Chris, bubbles. To, this is kind of the first time that we've seen you since you were a dad of twins. Well, I, well. Yes, it was mostly my wife's work. But well, yes, of course. <laughs> but being a dad of five now. Yes. How's life as a dad well, of five? Well, I've got to pretend it's it's tough, but it for me, it's... I've never had more sleep because oh. Tash is oh. in a different room on a different floor. This so is honestly, true. honestly, I mean, I feel so guilty. But right. what does one do? Um, but the kid, the, the twins are 13 weeks old tonight. Oh. Boom! Oh, is it? Yeah, 13. There we are. Yes, a little bit. <laughs> they are around. They are around. They're in traffic, aren't they? They're going to be They're here. in traffic. Well, They're the in traffic. Family, They're going to be here. Well, yes, yeah, so we've got Noah over there. Now he's going to be asking some questions <laughs> to potential number one contenders um, later on. And you got your questions, Noah? Yes. You are. <laughs> Loving the braces. Very smart. Yeah, yes. that's brilliant. And uh, Bear, uh, one of your boys is in, but you're a father of three sons as well. So are you quite a, an adventurous dad? You know, are you kind of taking them out in all kind of weathers and conditions and well they they've kind of grown up with it and they love it yeah you know? it's um yeah very lucky very lucky what was the last boys. adventurous thing you were doing together um oh we you know well we live in quite a inaccessible place yeah for part of the year up in north wales live on an island Beautiful, so, though, very very nice. so nice. adventure has been a big part of their life growing up you know we have a houseboat on the thames so that's been the other part of their life and you know we always had the mother-in-laws going oh so dangerous when they're little stumbling around on the on the boat with the River Thames like this, but I was saying, you know, Tarzan survived the jungle. They're brought up like that. They're used to it. They're yeah, very nimble fact. around. Yeah, but what chance would Tarzan have nowadays? You think he might struggle a bit, mightn't he? Maybe. Yes, it's maybe. Pretty crazy out there. <laughs> So oh, you're all right, Al. I'm losing it. Oh, oh you're all right. Al's very well tonight. <laughs> By the way, congratulations well, to Al. Oh, thank you, Christoph. Thank you. Well thank done, you. well done. Yeah, I'm saying I love your son's it's name. Baby really. Central here, isn't it? Yeah. Mm, we should okay. also mention we've got some scouts in tonight, and you, um, well, recently become <clears throat> in charge of 50 million scouts, Bear. Well, it's, a, it's an amazing worldwide family. You this know, is it. 50 yeah. million scouts. And, uh, Whenever I have to go and do anything, I always try and take some, some scouts with me, and it's great yeah. having them tonight. And we all feel a little bit stronger for it, so thank you always for the moral support. But scouts are doing amazing things all over yeah. the world, and wherever I'm filming, I always try and meet them, you know, whether it's in, you know, Panama or Borneo or whatever, and unified by the NECA and the set of good, you know, values. Yeah. It obviously came out of the UK. It was founded right here, 111 years old. You know, this year, so, so it's a very exciting time yeah. for scouting, growing faster than ever before. Chris Evans here, one of our very important scouting ambassadors. I've actually mm -hmm. bought you a present, I must forget. Well, you know why, don't you? Why? You get a free hoodie. I actually bought you. I know, I've seen it now. I've seen this one's got your, 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 your name exactly. No, yeah. I love it. I love it. But like this waiting list all over the world, isn't yeah. it? You know, scouting is so popular. So popular. Well, it's it, it is incredible to see. I think in the UK, it's now fifty-five thousand yeah. waiting lists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. so the message is always to try and encourage more and more adult volunteers, yeah. and therefore allows more and more kids to join the adventure. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, a great privilege to be a small cog in an amazing machine. Well, world right. scout ambassadors a He's bit more than cool, a small cog, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? It's massive. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now this year we sell.